Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we are heading, Grand that's a dim light. It's not, it's still charging fine. It's just uh, because it's a 12 volt bulb and a 6 volt car, so that's why it does that. I got 12 volt turn signals. So, anyway, we are heading right now to San Diego. 100 miles each way, or to actually uh, Imperial Beach, which is right near Mexico. Uh, it's like the last city while well, there's, I don't know, there's a little bit of city past it, but it's really like right there. So, uh, we're taking the 36 horse motor, but uh, it's a long, loud drive in this car. 100 miles each way. We'll come check out a show here. It was pretty fun last year, so we'll see what's up this year. Hopefully we'll have good stuff. We'll talk to you later. Well, Vanagon. Uh, we may be doing uh, a little bit of stuff to a Vanagon coming up. Uh, but I don't have one. And I only know one guy with a Vanagon. And he... Uh, He's going to be doing trans rebuild and rebuild the engine and then paint it. I may go over and film some of that. It's a water pumper too, so that's kind of interesting. He rebuilt the engine already. It's been sitting in his garage, so yeah. Two-wheel drive. I don't know if I'd advertise that. I think I'd just leave it. Let everybody kind of wonder. And the twins came in and they came in from Reno Valley. That's a long drive. The same as me, about the same distance. Almost two hours. So now we're in 45 minutes, I think, is what I made it in. Or a little less. Maybe an hour and a half. Because I was going 70 most of the way. 70. Bug I found out on flat ground goes up to 75. Uh, actually, legit 75. Huh? I use the uh, GPS to do it. Yeah, I found I got 75 miles an hour in that little 36 horsepower motor on flat ground, no wind. You guys are eating, so I'll back up a little bit. I'll do the thing. Time for breakfast. You know, hey, when you bring a camper, you can always have a little breakfast. Mobile cocktail bar. No. Yes. Is it really? You guys actually serve like alcoholic beverages or wow. That's pretty crazy. Oh, neat. Huh. That's cool. I used a 13 window made a sales flap out of it. So it looks like I hear the mariachi band kind of warm it up again. They're going to be playing here in a minute. So you guys won't hear my narration as we go. I like to kind of walk the shows and kind of talk to you about what's going on. See, so it feels like you're here with me walking it. So kind of makes it a little more fun, I think. I, I hope. Let me know in the comments if you like that. Or if you'd rather just hear music. I, I think this is more fun. Yeah, look at that. Is that original? Not a notchback guy, so gotta help me out on that. I don't know. Bay window, late bay. Looks all original. It's like they just use it. That's really cool. I think that is that the tint coming loose in the glass. I think so. Yeah. My guess. Oh, yeah, they got some. Are these Porsche? Where are those? I don't know. That looks kind of nice with a super. You guys can probably hear the mariachi in the background, so. We shall find out if they like that or not. Huh? I, I, I don't know if that music is uh, actually licensed or unlicensed or not. 
I don't know. This is another super. Interesting. Look at these wheels. I bet those are pretty expensive. Are those air cooled? The wheels probably cost more than the whole car. Dual carbs, stock style exhaust. Interesting. Look at this original owner. Look at that. What's that? New 1967? 68 Savannah Beige. Original. Original owner. Original. Is it original paint? It's been repainted no. once. It looks like it's been done once, at least. No, you see that piece? It had bust all over it. It's got, it's, it's been a little while, but it's still, it's nice. Yeah, do you know anything about this club? San Diego Air Cold? A no, little. San Diego Volkswagen Club. Um, no. It was in the 70s. Wow. And I got a sticker from them, but I haven't found anybody that knows anything. No, I, I don't know. That must have been really old. Just the air cooled guys I know. I, I don't. No, I am the air cooled guys. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, oh wow, look at this original engine. Been rebuilt? Yeah. Yeah. Is that even the original block case? Oh, yeah. Almost yeah. always. The 68, uh, through 68 to 70, they had a lot of cracking issues, yeah. you know. So Th This is, uh, everything is correct on it. Oh, yeah. It's all 100%. It's in cylinders, but it's yeah. not the original. The block almost always got cracked, and you had to upgrade yeah, it to the dual things. relief. Yeah, you just replace them. Yeah, nice. Cool. Look at that. 68, right? You see my friend there. Look at that. Okay. Really cool. Uh, a friend of mine carries mannequins in his. He, it's odd. But that's just what he does. Really nice. Thank you. So that was a pretty cool car. 68, all original. Uh, you know, you just don't see stuff like that very often. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's move on to the next ones see what we can get here. I don't know if I want to go out there right now. I think I'll wait because they're going to be playing music really loud and uh, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll get a listen to it, but if I'm going to talk about the cars, it's too hard for me to do that when it's really loud. So, anyway. Late Model Square. Always tell by the pointed nose. And the bumpers. Sometimes they change the bumpers. So those bumpers are kind of ugly, I think. Okay. Some of you guys might like them now because they're so old compared to a lot of things in the road. This is cool. Looks like original paint, and look at that, no rust. Look at the seats, they redid those, or maybe they're original, I don't know, those look really cool. So, is it an SO42 maybe? Uh, yeah, I think so. Looks like an SO42 tin top. What year is it? Let's see. 66, I'm gonna th think, maybe? Could it be 65? Oh, look at the dash, so I will know what it is could be late 66 or being our early 67 too hey there's no um, four-way flasher separate four-way flasher so it's probably 66 or 67 I'm gonna guess let me know in the comments if you think I'm right or wrong I'm an idiot you're an idiot you're an idiot you're an idiot you're an idiot, you're an idiot. I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. I wonder if he uses this off-road. I would say more than likely. 
66. That's what this one is for sure. I think the other one's a 66 too. But it didn't have the four-way flasher knob on the dash, so. Um, what's fooling me on this one again, I came back and looked, um, is that it has the other knobs. So 67, and it's missing the four-way flasher switch on there, if you notice. If you see over here. No four-way flasher, and the other knob, so it's probably 66. Really nice double cab here. Check it out. It's really nice. Let's look inside. Radio blank. It's got a hazard knob on it, so. What year is it? 66. Uh, but he put some juice in it. Really nice. That's a nice double cap. We get a far away for this side. It's kind of hard to shoot this one because it's so they're really close together. Sixty-three, maybe. Sixty-two. I like that mirror, that's kind of cool. Dealer ad. Oh, 61 tail lights on it. So this one's a 61. The guy brought in the last three cars, he brought in five. So he brought in this one, this one, this one, that one, and I guess one other one. But he lives right up the street, so. These are really nice. I don't know how he stores five cars out here. The yards and the houses are really small. So, some guys have double lots here, like most beach cities. Because we're right next to Mexico, there's a lot of sewage in the water. And uh, because of that, there's a, the, it's not as desirable as some of the other beach cities. Mexico doesn't really have a very good sewer recycling system at all. In fact, they don't think they have anything. They just let it all kind of, they leach it and then it ends up, well, some of it ends up in the, it's more like the trash and stuff ends up in the little rivers that go out to the ocean. It's kind of not so great. This is nice. SO42. Look inside. SO42 looks like to me, wow, really good condition. A couple little bobbles on the side table. It's the wood's kind of split, probably the doors were cracked open. And it's a 67 because it's got the, uh, the tall, skinny clamshell lights. I have those on mine. It, it came with either one. So late 67, I think had those. So in the late 67 would have the backup lights, so cool. Really neat. Actually, I think this is his other car. So this, he has this one, the Carmen Ghia, the Thing, it's a 61 bug and the double cap. So pretty, really nice collection, really nice. I mean, this thing's super clean. Kind of street racer style with the air cooled wheels. Covered in rhino liner. Cool. Rag top, too, so nice. Fiberglass front end on this one. In case you're wondering. We see a lot of these back in the old days. Guys that wrecked their car, they put a fiberglass front end on it and use it as a race car. Street racer. Here.
think I'm gonna head up this way and I'll drop off my sweatshirt. It's getting a little warmer. The sun's about to come out. We had fog on the way in, so. Really foggy. Some of the areas get kind of sketchy. With a six volt car, you kind of get a little worried. And see those tail lights until they get right up on you when you're going as slow as you are in that thing. I guess you can put the air horn somewhere, right? <laughs> put them on the outside. Interesting. Looks like. Yeah, it looks like this thing with this wing. It looks like it just ripped the deck lid off and start flying. Look inside that wing. See, I'm right up here, so I'll walk this little area here, and then we'll go back to the, check the pier a little bit later. Um, the pier's got the nicer ones, nicer cars are up there, so I'll show you guys that. Hang in there. It's fun to see all the different Volkswagens, different years, and uh, conditions. See, this is why I don't lower cars. The apron seems to get caught on something. This is kind of neat. A rooftop camper. Oh, he just bolted it to the roof. Yeah. That's what you do with this. If you had a super, that'd be great for that, wouldn't it? Late model bug, I guess. About free game for that too, right? 70? 6, 71? The reflectors tell you, I think. I don't know. I don't remember all the late model stuff, guys. I stay away from them typically. It's hard to get my money back out of them when I fix them up. If I need to sell it, I'm using it upside down so I don't do those. Not that I have intentions to sell everything I don't have. I just, you know, I just. Wow, that is bright. This is interesting. What a color combination there. What do you think? So what you think about that? Interesting. This one, I kind of like the color. That's kind of cool. Looks like something on a late model car scene. That's a split. Maybe it is an early color, too. Cool split window. Didn't even catch it right away. I wasn't even looking at the molding being the style, just had the semaphores and let's look at it here. Splitting it over next to each other. Do so these like normal? I don't know. I think that's a custom one. It goes out further. I think the regular split one would just open like a regular one. Did it have a hinge on it either? I don't know if they did. Maybe. I drove it. I drive it. I don't know split windows that well. I told him twice. That's the bus. Definitely a cool car. Who's that? What's talking about? On the way here, I had a guy yelling at me because I was going too slow going up a hill. What a genius, huh? In a 36 horsepower motor, going uphill, starts tailgating me. It proceeds to cuss me out, flip me off, and everything else for driving too slow. 
Nice feller. Well, pretty big show here. This is a cool looking thing here. Look at all the holes in that. This is your typical Carmagia. They had, well, the guys would have a lot of difficulty fixing them and they just do this to them. Look at that brazing. Back in the days pre MIG welder, you guys had to fix a bender, that's how they did it. Kept it on the road. All right, so back to good Volks again. The guys came from Mexico, a lot of guys did. Looks like the Mexican Volks crew is here. That's an interesting look. Look at that, the front of that with those headlights. Almost looks kind of Porsche, kind of. Or Brazilian car. Another really nice dub blue double. There we go. Well, that's kind of neat. Really nice double there. Another kind of ratty double here. It's a little. What's that? It had some rust, so he just stamped it with something. From Baja, California, Mexico. I think he ran out of money after he lowered it. <laughs> a lot of money to do all that lowering stuff. A lot of pesos. Probably 100,000 pesos to lower that thing. More than that. Sixty-three, number sixty-three, but I don't know what it is. It's a sixty. Let's look. It's an early thing. We got bullets on it. Maybe it's all by the deck lid. Usually, sixty-one. I'm gonna guess fifty-nine to sixty-one. Yeah, it has a hump in the front seat, so I'm going to say 61, that's my guess. Right or wrong, let me know. Another double. Kind of a, all out of order. Uh, they don't know who's showing up, so they don't order everything up. You know, they don't know how many guys are going to show up. So. We do have some cool looking bugs coming up. Let's listen to this car here. So we got a double here. We're coming up 59 to 61. 23 window. Seen this one a couple times at some shows. Uh, there just isn't that many that are this color, so it's pretty easy to recognize and see again. That's the daily driver condition, it looks like to me. Get the fancy hotel in town. C180 Coastal Tavern. Food place. Oh, we got a Corvair section. Hope you guys want to see some Corvairs. I had a 63 convertible. And I sold it to get my divorce going. It was only worth a couple grand at the time, so it was all restored, but it's all, it's all it was worth back then. Funny, you still think it'd be worth more now. But. It wasn't. 
Oh, nice looking double here. We'll go this way. You guys think that's the original color? I guess they changed it up a little on the inside. That's kind of cool. Can't get the original vinyl, I don't think, for that. But I saw this oval coming in. He's on the side of the road. Hey, I heard she's not old enough to drive. Wait, the steering wheel's on the other side. It's Euro model? From England, maybe? This is a cool bug right here. Look at that, just six wheels still, too. It's cool. That's pretty neat. I got one pulling in. Still some roll ins coming on. That's, it says 1300. I don't know. I think it sounds like a 1200, but. I don't know, but it's later, so it has a big, smaller distributor on it. 65? Yeah, I would have a 1200 in. Alright, so let's look at a couple of Corvairs here. we got about five or six of them. Hope you guys don't mind seeing those. I think they're kind of neat, too. These are kind of nice. The Corsa Turbo model. It came with a 110 horsepower turbo or a 110 horsepower dual carbureted version. It had like a, almost like a double dual Weber type setup. So yeah, Corsa. Got a lot of blue. Blue interior, blue paint. Mine was... Uh, white and with black interior I think yeah no red red interior and I had the seats done white with red red binder or red uh, welt so yeah it looked really cool another turbo bottle was it one I thought it was one maybe it is 180 110 was a small one that was 140 was a big one, but huh? I guess it's 180. It's a convertible Monza 110 powered thing. The 110s even get up pretty good. If you ever driven one, man, they they make a Volkswagen seem like a slow little car. I'll tell you what, man. This is this this is a sixty, I think. Uh, yeah, early sixty. This would have had an eighty horse in it. And you talk about slow. It's like driving a forty horse, forty horse bug. If it has an eighty horse in it. It were really slow. Big difference. I don't know what this is. Yeah, let me guess it's probably been upgraded. The air cleaners have been changed. Probably 110. Probably 110. All right, cool, man. Monza. Monza hard top. This one's got a four speed or a three speed in it. One of the two. Stick shift. Mine was an automatic. I had an automatic in mind. It was just a cruiser car. But yeah, these are pretty neat too. Or Corsa. I don't know, what is that? 
I guess they had the Corsa emblem on there. So I guess the later ones were Corsas. The early ones were Mons, I think. Four speed. Yeah. Four speed. 110 horse, I think. No, he's got a 180. That would be wicked fast. Wicked fast. And then there's this one. Is the uh, other option. So you had the turbo or you had the four carbureted one. This one here. Expensive. We used to do. I worked for a uh, company that we did uh, connectors. So we had the pins and sockets. Yeah, cool. Was this a Monza wagon? Yeah. See, the early ones, I guess, were Monza. Then that was Corsa. I don't know. I, I never really got into the late ones. I like these, uh, the wagons and the green briar pickups and that sort of thing. I like the commercial ones. Ramp sides, I guess. Ramp side pickup. Green briar van. Anyway, back to the Volkswagen. So you guys are... Let's see here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nicely convert. Got the right seats in it and everything. Oh, what about a 62, 63? No? It's later. 1300, so it's going to be 66. I don't know what I was missing. Oh, yeah, the long dash. Well, that guy's another thing you can know. If you look at the dash, you see how the dash. The, it's more pointy okay on the later models it's pointy 66 is yes, it had that the vents up in the top there so anyway okay I see the mariachi walking around so we're gonna get through these cars here and another one from Baja really cool mango my guess it's kind of like my car. But they didn't have that back then. It was a different one. I don't know. It's an oval, no? Yeah, oval vert. So it's it's not mango for sure. They didn't have mango in the ovals. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me if you looked it up and you know. Then I don't know couldn't tell you another oval really nice one here so, couple oval and a vert we got some music coming here I see here in the background so I gotta be careful hopefully we don't get Screwed up. Oval rag. Nice. So we got here. Carmen, you get a vert. Black on black. Well, that's got to be just hot as hell. Check this out. Nice looking. Split window. A split noble. Let's get this in there too. Split window. Nice. What an interior this is like a PMI. I think I'd go try to get some vintage cloth so I was going to do that myself personally crotch coolers it's got the uh, late model bumpers on it they're kind of expensive the oval ones maybe just something temporary you put on here the bumpers are pretty pricey he's California Bar, so anyway, thought it might be south of the border. Wasn't sure. Oval rag. Oh, the bike crew coming through.
Bay window. Wow. Well, he did his own body work, probably. Surviving. Seventy one looks like to me, or six, no, seventy or sixty nine, sixty eight. Could be one of those. Got round hubcaps on it, so it's definitely not a seventy one. My bad. This one's for sale, 104,000 miles. 72. Oh, it's a pop top. It's not the, it doesn't go up at an angle. What's the difference? I don't know. Type 4 engine in it. This is kind of the patina look. Uh, well, I don't know. Flat clear might have been a little nicer to me, but you gotta just paint it. Original paint dash, maybe. This looks cool. I'd have just matched that color and painted the outside personally. It's kind of cool with these though. So I'm going to put those rubber ones on mine. That's what's going on my oval. This is a. Uh, look at that. They just cleared right over that too. Huh. Interesting. Hey, paint it later as the money comes in. I don't know. Kind of a rat rod thing here. Cushman scooter box. That's pretty neat. A sign. Campbell's Soup. Sacramento, California. Pretty cool. All right, so this is back to me again. We've already filmed that direction, I believe. No, we haven't. Let me do a couple more here. I got, I see some Type 34s. We need to get those in the video. So, we got Super. We'll kind of let him roll. He's just a driver. Yeah, a yellow beetle with some Mexican blanket interior. Kind of fun. So now let's look at the Type 34s. Type 34, is this the one with the automatic? That's a really rare sight right there. Fully automatic Type 34. They only had these in Europe. They were not available in the US. So this was imported here at some point. Automatic. Got some rust issues here. Pretty cool. This one here's a stick shift. Love that dash. Original. Type 34. Another one. We got the the uh, parade coming down. I'm gonna bring you guys back in on that. Kind of fun.
back into the cars again. I've got, I know guys, that's weird, but it's cool, whatever. It's part of this show. I, I don't know what the whole heritage of the dancing is and all that, but it's interesting. The outfits are quite interesting. Look at this here. I recognize this color, what is it? It's one of the Wolfpack crew. Original paint touched up probably at some point. This could use some TR3 and it would make it look all shiny and new, but original. TR3 would fix that. Takes that oxidation off, keeps it patinaed looking. Gets rid of this blend marks, make it look really nice. It's just original paint. Won't ruin the patina on it at all. Makes it look really good. Just makes it doesn't hand print as much. Yeah, it looks like an 81, 82 rabbit. They had the other dash. I have a different dash in mine. I still have it. Well, Get that thing ready to sell. I think I get rid of it. I want to keep paying insurance on those things. Look at that. Look at the back fenders on here. It's like a thing we did in the 80s. Put split window glass in it. I'm sure, it's not it's not original. I'm sure. It's just a hodgepodge of different things because you got a dash like that. Got a split window back and a regular deck lid. So it's kind of neat. Something different. Oh, what is this? 645 convertible? Can't really tell you the difference. I so we've got it listed on there. I don't know. 66. Yeah, because it can't. Again, the handles. Right here. Someone else has curb feelers. Besides me. Right? Yeah, it's orange. Look at those wide whites. Look at this. 
fail. <laughs> Those things have to flap in the wind. Look at that. Look at. Yeah, there you go. Look how far it sticks out. It's got to make all kinds of noise. The fake wide whites. I, I don't know. I just don't dig them much myself. Just rather have black walls. That's a good square here. Nice jacket. That's wolf pack jacket. Did you see that Dodger blue one I had? Surfboard on there. Notch action. Yeah, I know you guys like the notch packs. Later notch, is it? Sixty-four. It's not that late. Pretty cool. Play bottle square. A little earlier one. Don't know what year it is. It's just a little earlier. I think it's probably 68. That's my guess. 69. Anyway, let's go on to the pier. We'll go check out the ones out there before the music comes back. Alright, the marching people are coming back again, so we're going to try and get through this area real quick here. Oh, we got nicer cars out here on the this is what they call the pier so, oh, that's really cool nice set of gauges and stuff what is that wide five Looks like 68 fenders. Hood. Yeah. It's got wide five wheels up. Weird. This one here is on bags. He's, uh, he did the whole thing. Got it up here, aired it down, and all that. Missed it though. I was over filming stuff. Oval rag. Nice car. Early notch. Right hand drive, too. Wow. Cool. Hopefully, you guys aren't getting sun in your eyes because I'm trying to film the right way here. Nice, really notch. Really like it. Yeah, yeah. These are called, uh, I can't remember the name. Swiss mail thing. Pretty low uh, percentage on batteries here, so got enough to do the rest of this, I think. And I'll go get a uh, charger. Really nice oval rag here. Super nice, man. This one here is absolutely beautiful. Every piece of, piece of chrome is just super shiny. Really good job assembling the windows. Look at that. We got another 60s, but I think. 
62. I was looking at the tail lights, I didn't see. 62 or 3. Yeah. Here's Doug's bus. Bar door, 23 window. Samba. I think it's a 54. A 55, I don't know. It's a later bar door. Anyway. This is a cool barn door standard. Really nice bus. Yeah. Here comes the marchers again. Should we film it one more time? Maybe. Maybe so, if you guys want to see that. And what you guys think in the comments about that. Did I film this? I don't think I did. Just graffitied out, huh? Look at that rust. Double cab bay. Another cool bug uh, with the uh, camper on the roof. Really cool there. Probably a little rocky at night, though. Walk the swap real quick. There's actually a swap meet I didn't even know. I'll look around here, see if there's anything I need. I'll bring it back in. All right, back out here on the pier area, they call it. We got some in the sand, I think, out there too. There's a few uh, dune buggies or sand buggies or uh, bajas or something out in the sand. I see a bus out there too. We will see what's out there. VR6 water pumper. And we've got nice motor. A few others here. Another really nice car. Let's look inside here. Try and get the phone out of the sound of the music. Boy, is that one slammed. Suckers have got to be on bags there. He's got his bike racks in the back. That's kind of cool. Oh, I like vintage BMX. Cool. I'm actually doing acrobatics out there now. 1920? This is a pretty nice looking car here. Really nice. We saw him in the roll in. Real nice Westy there. Look at this guy. I say, is this Brazilian? He's got pop outs. Uh, 
maybe not. It's got the German tail lights on it. Space for the 1500. Just because the Brazilian guy paints in these kind of colors, that's why. It wasn't because it looks like a Brazilian. 13 window. Clock present. Look at the radio in that. Let's see if I can get you guys looking at it. Different radio. I, I don't know. What is that? 67 maybe? Early 67 only? Radio? I don't know. Maybe it's pretty neat to see. So we got another. Look at this. Look, I like the interior on this. It's really cool. I'll let you guys check it out here and we'll bring you guys in. Look at these. Re redone. Fresh job. And look at the plaid. That looks really cool. Look at that in the back. Pretty neat. Peace Peace sign on the dash. It's different. And we got a bus with a dog on the roof. Oh, literally, they do have them out on the pier pretty good there. I didn't realize they had them far out on the pier. We'll go out there in a minute. Looks like a Rottweiler. I like these little tents too. What do you guys think? Let me know. I think I'll make one for mine. Now they're doing some more drum stuff out there. They were doing some kind of like dancing, acrobatics, roll rolls and stuff. I didn't get a chance to film it, but it was kind of different. Yeah, this has some cool stuff in it, guys. Let's check it out. It's got like a vintage radio. I think I had one like that. Do you guys ever have one? The sliding volume and tone. Uh, it's got a cool camping stove here. It's got this folding table. Cool camping stove right here. This is butane, I think. Well, P gas, it says. Propane. It's a nice looking little mini camping stove. Cool. Check this out, man. Is that a folding bike? That is, isn't it? Is it that is yours? The folding bike? Yeah. It is like a 68. It came from Czechoslovakia. Wow, like Czechoslovakia. Yeah. That, I, remember they used to see people, we always think people were weird when they rode one of those. <laughs> I always go, no, it's, you know, it's like, back in the day. Research and then it's, it's really like, cool though. It was like, uh, and then I digged on the internet and it popped up. Wow. I was supposed to get two, but I just got one. I wanted it's cool. I mean, it definitely folds up and you can stick it inside your bus. Really neat. All right, let's check out the front. So he's got the extra big pop-outs on this side. It looks really cool. He's got his air scoops on there. All right. And oh yeah, you got the uh, got the net in the back. Keep the bugs out. Cool. Got this lowly bus out here in the middle of the sand. Really neat here. Look at that. Let's get you guys back so you can see where it's at. Then we're gonna go out on the pier. There's a bunch out there. We're gonna try and get. Maybe I can get a. Looking for different thumbnails here as I'm doing the video. Anyway, let's walk down to the end of the here. And it's a little tough to walk in the sand, but we'll walk down to the end and uh, I'll turn around and we'll film. I think the lighting might be better on the other side. Let's let's hope it is for you guys. All right, so we've got some off-road buggies. Man, this one's cool. Look at the long travel on that. That is barely a Volkswagen. This is like totally off-road, but it is totally Volkswagen powered. Cool. A lot of them they use V8s now. King shocks. Really neat. Then we got here another one with some Kings on it. VW powered. Long travel. Cool. Long travel buggy, that's nice. I wonder how big the motor is. It's got a two barrel. 
doesn't have, I mean, this thing weighs nothing, so it'll still be fun. I guess this is a blazing contractor. Interesting. Class 11. Nice looking tires on there for multi surface there. Kumos. And we got a Volkswagen thing. I mean, these were really, I, these were so neat back in the day, I remember. And I just remember when I was a kid seeing these things. What is that thing? Driving by the dealership. We used to have a dealership by my house. Econo Motors, actually. It was right near my house when I was a kid. And uh, we saw all the things as they came out in the early 70s. And there was a lot of these around on the roads. I used to ride in them and guys would do wheelies. That's an early turn signal switch on there too. I don't know, is that a Manx? I don't think it is. Thing. It's my buddy's thing here. One of the subscribers' channel from Escondido. He drives this one out. Really nice job he did on that. Really nice. Get a sand buggy with turning brakes on it so it's got if you leave those levers right there you grab that lever and you pull it back and it will lock up like the right wheel or the left wheel and that will to make the car turn sharper in the sand you guys who don't know that stuff mid-engine they flip the transaxle got it out the back a little tricky to do the linkage on these these were really fun. Uh, now they, not many of them out in the sand now. Uh, most of them are the V8 powered ones now. They still use turning brakes, a lot of them. Another class 11. We got a Baja coming, another Baja coming up here and we're gonna go out to the pier finish up the rest of the show. I mean, probably grab some more clips as we go. I Keep your eyes out for it. Dual carbs, K&Ns. If you go in the sand, you have to put bags on your K&Ns. You gotta put these, uh, they're called outers, outer, outer wares on there. On your, otherwise you'll get sand in your motor. I used to have friends of mine that would get sand in their motor. Oh, he's got a removable steering wheel in there. Hanging over there, that's kind of cool. That way you can put it on the other side. And get in and out of the car easier. Pretty cool. Shush, 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 shorty bus. I don't think I've seen a shorty bay. That's the first one I think I've seen. This is Tom's bus. Tom takes this bus everywhere. He goes to, man, I've seen it in video footage in Utah. So uh, he takes it up to Mount Shasta, all over the place. Just enjoys it. Tom's a great guy. This is a cool bus, look at this. This here is an original floor mat, this color, or you just don't see these. These are always gone. Uh, for, I don't know what the color name is, but it's for the sea blue bus and the uh, Those formats are, are just You cannot find these And that one's in great shape It's really cool. Where if he has actually actually has the middle seat for this. And it's a 13 window With jail bars on it 66 or 7 I think I'm gonna guess. 
can look at the dash. I always have to look at the dash if I want to know what year it is. 66, I'm going to say. Yeah, he's got a 66 Carl's Jr. number up there, kind of. A little hint. Let's go look at the road here and check out the others. So we got Bay Window. Got artwork on it. Kind of interesting. And the old roach clip. And Halloweenage stuff. Surfboard on the roof. Gotta carry it somewhere, I suppose. Another really nice looking bay. Porsche alloys on it. High roof. Looks like there's a double cab out here. Double cab. Really nice double cab. Look at the wood on that. Wow. What grain is that, guys? Anybody know? Black Carmagia. Don't know what year. These things look all the same, almost, except for it's got these handles and a giveaway for later models, so I guess 6789. One of those. Looks like a mango bus here. I got in to play video games again. This one looks pretty pretty recent restored. Hasn't even got the interior in it yet. Very cool. Those real white walls are fake. Oh, the fake ones. Uh, Sixty-three, I guess, or is it an aftermarket rag? I don't know. Craft roof? I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not certain. Googly eyes. Then we got uh, this one here. Really nice looking color on here. That looks great on Carmen Gia. This is weird. Quite interesting. A lot of work. Yes, we were about to paint it. Like, right For the Bondo on the fender, just stand in front of it. No, I'm just kidding. That's what he said a second ago. That was kind of, kind of funny. Stand in front of the Bondo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Old sand rides. I, I don't know if those are real ones. I mean, maybe they are. I think they are. They had so many different brands of them. Old school sand rides. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I'm just saying. get a chance to look at the engine. Everybody was standing over here. Pretty nice. Happy to have a Beetle.
Anyway, guys, I'll bring you back in. We're going to take a look around a few more things and bring you back in later. This is the all the show stuff right now. Uh, I may end the video here. And uh, if I do, then I'll talk to you on the next one, guys. And please like, share, and subscribe. I may throw some other clips in here. Uh, I, I don't know. Or I might throw some in at the end that are pretty interesting. So stick around just in case.